Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about interview questions that were asked in Sama Technologies. So before we begin, let us thank a subscriber who has shared us these questions and without him, this video would not have been possible. So thank you dear subscriber for sharing the questions and I encourage all of you who are attending interviews, please share your questions so that it can help others who are attending interview. So without wasting much time, let us get started. So here, like, you know, the uh, company, like you all know, skill was for Tableau developer and SQL, and they also tested in Excel as well. So one of the very common applications that you will be using day in and day out in your real time, no matter, you know, uh, the tool that you will be working, irrespective of that, Excel is one common skill that we all need to possess or we all need to learn. So this is like, you know, uh, your bread and butter every day, in every tool, we will use this to store the data, to retrieve the data, to format or some kind of operations we, we will be regularly doing in Excel activities. So we should be very comfortable with Excel in real time. So, so these three things they were checking. And now let us start. So like the first question we all know by now, it is tell me about yourself. Okay. And we all have, uh, you know, understood what all we need to consider but just to you know uh, summarize in this video i'm going to tell you that we need to talk about our project in this last project and include it in a way that you're talking about development you're talking about uh, testing you're talking about your server role and you are talking about your uh, documentation skills so these are something that you need to cover your tell me about your self point. So this is what they will be looking in and the more, the better you give or the better you describe yourself, the chances are that he will consider more. Okay. So next is like, you know, uh, uh, the next question was, do you know MS office was the question? Like you, you can see the answers uh, for the candidate. He said like, you know, he knows uh, office. Then the first question was like, we look up. So we look up is one common, you know, a thing that many of us will be doing a day in and day out. So lookup function is there, like how we have lookup in uh, Tableau. Similarly, we have a lookup function. So we should be aware of applying a VLOOKUP in, in real time. This is one mandatory thing that you need to learn or become proficient in. Very important. Okay, so let me know if you want me to create a video on commonly used Excel things. I can create one video and I'll post it so that you can focus on that. But this is something that you cannot afford to miss. We look up thing. Okay, so next is uh, maybe what is freeze? Freeze is something like you know, when we have uh, so many columns in Excel, so we can freeze the pain there. Okay, so that is what is uh, it is about. Next, how to change rows into columns and co columns into rows. Again, this is an Excel-based question. So here we have a transpose option. We can use that and we can uh, convert it. But uh, how do you do the same thing in Tableau? How can we convert a row into a column and a column into a row? Can any of you try to attempt this, you can pause the video right now and you can answer it before I show it. Okay, so pause it now. One, two, three. Simple, just click on this swap button and here you go. So your rows are converted into columns and columns are converted into rows. Simple, like, you know, just, you know, he's checking the awareness you have. Next is what is group by cross? Again, uh, the next uh, interviewer jumped on directly into uh, the SQL part first. So if you t see the approach here, uh, interviewer is trying to check the SQL first. So you need to focus on your SQL skill as well. Okay. So, so what is the current problem in the market is we are getting candidates who are aware of Tableau, but not, uh, uh, no, they do not have uh, enough information in SQL. So that is why they are starting reverse. So they are checking candidates who are aware of SQL and then they are going into Tableau. 
okay so be prepared and you know focus on the sql questions i think uh, i've posted few series you can start with that that should be one you know a beginner for you and later on you know you can focus on others but that should you know help you get started what is group by clause so whenever you are trying to aggregate values at a certain dimension given at a certain dimension then group by value group by thing comes into picture like see department is there so even if you are uh, you know observing this so here also if i try to convert this this is also a grouping thing so we are trying to see what is the total souls uh, sales at each or for each subcategory item so if at all i want to write a group by function how can i do that or if i want to write a sql function how will i write it here select subcategory comma sales sorry sum of sales because we want to aggregate at subcategory level from our sample superstore group by what is the level that we want to group we want to group at subcategory so we can write it like this okay now it will return you total sales for each subcategory item that is how it should work so that is the group by sales here <clears throat> what is having having is when you're whenever you're trying to apply a condition on the group by data then having will come into picture like uh, group by sum of sales having sales greater than thousand like that so something very similar to like this uh, group by subcategory having your yeah, sum of sales greater than 1000 or 10,000 like that. So, okay. So having always comes in concatenation with your group by operator. So it cannot individually come. So that point you will need to remember. Now, which one will come first group by or order by first is group by then is order by. So order by is nothing but how do you want to order? So like, you know, you are ordering by salary or you are ordering by your dimension name that you need to specify. So first one, so you need to group by, then you need to do an order by like that. So one again, uh, what is right join? So, and I give one scenario again. So this is one very important concept that we all need to get perfect on. Okay, so I've posted one video on joins that one need one video that you need to master on okay so i i recommend you no matter what just go through that video and you know be, be become thorough in that because in 10 out of 7 interviews you will get question on this joints very very important thing okay okay so focus on that next is what is cte cte is common you know uh, expressions we call so this is something that will help you simplify your SQL queries like with the clause is there. Okay, so we start writing using with the clause. Okay, so we call that as uh, you know, CTs or common expressions, common term expressions. Next is what is the heat map. So from here on, it he started moving into Tableau. If you see like 50% of his questions are done. After that, he started moving into Tableau. So because it was an initial round, he was just trying to check on all the concepts slowly. What is heat map and tree map? Very this uh, days, you know, I'm seeing uh, this question is frequently being asked in many interviews or one common question that is being asked in many interviews. So 10 out of six to seven places, I have seen these questions coming up, heat map and tree map. So it is like, you know, how you are working with the categorical item and hierarchical item based on that heat map and tree map can be used. Okay. So how do you publish a workbook into a server? So for all those who are working in real time, it is very easy for you to answer, but those who are not then first what we need to do is we need to click on this server click on sign in and here you need to specify the, your server details okay and once you click on that again you need you will be signed in and you will uh, be allowed to publish to the server you have access to then click on that again server and click on publish work 
so from here we can publish our workbook to the server so this is this all steps you need to explain him that is what is there in this question okay how to create a user level filter or user filter so this is all about role level security i think we have seen a uh, role level security one very important question again in real time you now there is a very high probability that you will be applying at least one of the you know three to four possible ways so again there are many ways we can create you can go to server and you can create a user filter so once you log in like say i want to apply on region you can click on that and you need to sign in once you sign in it will show the list of users who are available based on that you can apply so we have already discussed different approaches for this low row level security uh, okay i'll po post a video of that you can watch it again do not miss again it is recommended very important okay so i'll keep a star here next is tableau products okay so tableau products again as a tableau developer we need to know what are the different products available in market and what all we can use okay so to start off with we have tableau desktop which is a primary application of tableau then we have tableau server for publishing then we have tableau online it is also tableau server but this is a cloud based application then tableau mobile we have so these days everything is can be done in mobile so you can also access your report from mobile as well so while we are designing dashboard we can configure that in a way that they are they can be seen in mobile as well okay so like mobile layout so every you know web page that you visit have a mobile version okay so automatically when you open in your mobile the layout of that will get changed similarly when you open in web page uh, or system the layout of that will change so that is tableau mobile similarly when you open dashboard in your laptop or machine the layout will be a little different but we can customize it for our mobile look next is tableau public one platform where we can showcase the skills that we have and anything that you publish here is publicly available to anyone who is available on this platform so they can directly download and access what you have done what type of uh, calculations you have written like that so make sure you are not using any sensitive data while you know using this tableau public because again it can be a compliance uh, compliance issue if at all you are saving it uh, you know don't forget to take permission from uh, your client that you know you are going to save that and all just to avoid few further future uh, conflicts so that is tableau public next you have is a tableau reader so this is application is to read tableau files okay uh, and uh, we have tableau prep this is for data preparation okay so just give me a minute So these are the different types of products that are available uh, for Tableau. But if at all you want to find out more, you can always uh, uh, go to Tableau here, tableau.com and uh, under products, you will see list of this. So after Tableau has merged with Salesforce, you know, we are seeing a little more here in the list. Okay. So these are all different applications that are available okay but as a tableau developer these are the products that we should be aware of okay one of the native applications of tableau next is what are the different types of data types available in tableau okay so we have a string data type we have a numeric data type we have a spatial data type we have date data type we have date and time data type so these are the uh, again boolean data type we have so these are the some of the commonly uh, available data types in tableau okay so next question was again uh, types of filters again one very important questions so here 
like uh, start from answering what is filter and then you can go on with different filters that we have like uh, data source filter uh, normal filter we have and then we have a uh, quick filter and then we have sharing filter and then we have cascading filter and then we have user filter and then we can talk about uh, filters that we can apply from the view level like header level cell level and the label level so these are also types of filters that we can apply so once you know you get a question on filters you need to talk about all of this in detail okay so one very interesting question and one of the very important questions in tableau so in any interview you go there is a probability that at least one to two questions you will get in this topic called as filters okay so next is difference between sets and groups again one very uh, common and probable questions that you might get in every interview so sets and groups so here what we can remember uh, you know is uh, group is like static here whereas set is a dynamic one common uh, point we can talk so static uh, means like you know uh, you uh, and me who are trying to attend our group of people or group of friends okay so they are static dynamic means based on some condition you are trying to get the data like say top five students of a class now with every unit test that you write or with every like say for quarterly half a the annual the top five students might change right so there is a condition that we are trying to apply on the data so that is a set here okay so whereas group means it is for forever like our group of friends so once you decided that you know we will stay together that's it no matter what happens we all stay together that is a static that is a group so that's why we call group so in in whatsapp also we have we call ads whatsapp groups right we don't call them as set we call them as groups okay next is can we uh how to display one measure as non-aggregated now here in tableau many might know like you know how to uh so this is an aggregated measure if you so if at all i want to aggregated measure means all the sales of my accessories okay so there can be like say n number of orders order ids under each subcategory items when i'm trying to aggregate that that will become 167 so that is what is happening here now fastness is a 3204 so there can be n number of order ids after adding all of that it will become 3024 i don't want this i want to see disaggregated measures which means just go to analysis and just click on this uncheck this so this is your disaggregated measures you see so all the orders you see so if i try to sort it for envelopes see the sales 218 15 150 288 362 very low sales here whereas subcategory and all have high sales very okay so if i try to swap it this is how it is looking see so fastness is even less it is 93 or 93 20 58 like this okay so these are your individual sales under subcategory okay items okay so that is how we can show disaggregated measures in the view one of uh, the very interesting things that we can do at tab level okay so i think that's it from my side in this video i hope you find this video useful if you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you and have a good day Bye bye